Hey, welcome back to the Marketing Ninja podcast where Manuel shares his business, marketing, and branding strategies he's used to build seven to eight figure businesses. All right, let's enjoy the show. All right, in this video, I'm gonna tell you about the formula that I've used over the years in the service industry to try to keep clients happy, and not only that, buying from you over the long run. So let me tell you about this before you keep on losing clients. Let's go. So in the service industry, one thing that you gotta know, and which I'm sure you do, is that we are here to service them. We gotta understand that we're here to give them some product and they paid us for it. That's the overall idea. But this is something I'm gonna tell you guys about the lessons that I learned, because if I had kept all the accounts that have ever come to AGM, my attention grabbing media marketing company, I will be at a whole different level. So keeping clients is so important. I don't know if you know the numbers, but it's seven times easier to get money from an existing client than from a new one. I think in the agency world, I'm gonna say it's a hundred times easier just because these people pay you month after month after month after month. We celebrate several clients a month, but we get dozens of clients, if not hundreds of clients every month paying us consistently. So you see, it's a very important thing when it comes to retention. So the number one lesson that I learned on a service industry, the number one thing that will destroy relationships, I'm gonna tell you three things that you need to keep in mind in order for you to keep clients happy and buying from you and paying you every month and buying you things and accepting new invitations and new offers and all that stuff. The number one thing is expectations. The biggest thing of all that can damage your relationship with a client is setting the wrong expectations. If somebody walks into my office and they say, I wanna be the next Dr. Berg, and I say, absolutely, come on in. I'll do it for you in the next three months. And then three months come in and it's not really happening. They're doing good, they're getting attention, they're getting views, but they're not doing Dr. Berg-like numbers. Six months come in, they're still not happening. The one thing that would destroy our relationship the fastest is the fact that I promised a certain thing and I did not deliver on that promise. That's number one. So when you're delivering services to clients, set your expectations correctly. I have heard other people in the past, like even somebody that I admire, uh, Mr. Grant Cardone, he said, uh, over promise and over deliver. I completely disagree, especially in the marketing world. You do not want to do that because in the marketing world, when you promise something, it's not that one thing that determines the success. There are many different elements that will determine whether you succeed or not. And that includes also the brand, the demand, the audience, the market, the economy, the other staff and the other people, the other departments in the organization. There's so many different variables that for you to come in here as a marketing agency and promise numbers would be the one thing that would cause the most destruction to your organization. So you can set expectations and say, listen, this is what we've done in the past and this is what it's taken. But just so you know, I expect you guys to be willing to pay for our services for a year before you start talking about it's getting too complicated or it's too difficult. Because the game of building a business and finding a marketing strategy that works, it is a long-term game that you gotta put the energy, you gotta try things out, and you gotta work together until, until something clicks. And that is the process. So setting expectations with your team, setting expectations with your clients from the beginning, will open up the door for longer term clients and less churn rate overall. Very, very, very important. Number two is communication. Even when you feel that your expectations are falling short or you know they're falling short, communication will keep on buying you time. Some of the things that I have seen cause a lot of destruction also in our organization here in our service organization is the fact that account managers, our staff, stop communicating enough to our clients, or maybe they have good news and they don't share them. And the clients are wondering what the heck is happening in their world and we don't talk to them enough. So communication has to be a very, very strong part of what you're doing every day with your clients consistently. So they feel that you have ownership over their brand, over their products, over their success. They need to feel that you care about their money as much as they do. When a customer doesn't get enough communication, they feel that you don't care about them and you mostly care about yourself. And then 
they are going to make their own decisions about the relationship. So communication is essential. And I am talking about experience. All the things that I'm talking to you guys about right now are coming from my own processes in which I have failed and I have realized over the years that if I put these things in place, I'm going to buy myself time to get the third and final thing in this formula, in the sequence, in these three fundamental things to allow you to keep customers on board. That third thing, which is not less, but it's extremely, extremely important too, is results. Results will buy you time across the board, of course. Results would even uh, forgive the fact that you barely communicate to your client and that you incorrectly gave expectations months before. Results are absolutely an essential part of what you are because at the end of the day, they all came here looking for those results. So if you make an obsession with results, that's also gonna keep your clients on board. These three things in that particular sequence for me are the most important things to do and to focus on when it comes to servicing clients. Manage expectations from the start. It doesn't matter in what industry you are at. Let them know what that process looks like. Ensure that you're communicating to your client consistently via emails, text messaging, or communication platforms, and then make sure that you're getting the results that you promise. Those three things are gonna open up the door, not only for retention, but also for clients becoming your brand ambassadors. They are gonna be your number one advocates and they're gonna be the ones bringing you in more business than any advertising campaign could ever bring you. Put those things in place and see yourself winning. I have seen that time and time again in this exact sequence succeed. And by doing so, I have been able to scale my organization to levels where I'm at today. All right, let me know in the comments what you thought about this video and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any other ideas of content that you would like to see, please go ahead and shoot below a comment and I will get to it myself. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hey, thanks for listening. If you enjoyed the podcast, go ahead, leave us a review and subscribe to tune in for future episodes. And if you're looking for a team that'll go above and beyond for you and your brand, go to talktoaninja.com today.